Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video. We're going to be talking about the L.A. County film industry. Folks, they're going back. They're going backwards. It is pretty clear. And I've said it many times before, whether it be on this channel or the other channels that we actually have. I thank God that I actually live in Texas because in Texas, we're allowed to do what we want to do. Now, in Texas, the state has been open for the better part of well over a year, 14 months, 15, 16 months, something like that. No mass mandates in place. None of that. And I would actually say that probably just by judging by going out in town, that only about 10 percent of people now in the Houston area where I'm at are actually still wearing masks. If you are in the People's Republic of California and you work in the film industry in L.A. County, mass mandates are back. I thought this was a joke at first, but we're talking about California. Check this out. L.A. film industry revives mass mandate for crew members, the crew members. So, you know, the cameramen, the grips, those kind of people, not the actors. Some kind of way. The virus cases are just going to uh, skip over the, the actors. And I guess the only way you can get infected if you're a crew member. It's pretty ridiculous, guys, but let's read this. The Los Angeles film industry has returned to force masking indoors after county officials reported a higher number of coronavirus cases resulting in hospitalizations. Now, check this out. It says this, quote, with new hospital admissions reaching more than eight per week per 100,000 population. They will resume indoor masking requirements along with several other safety measures. L.A. Public Health Officer Barbara Ferrer said Thursday, according to Variety. So. Eight per one hundred thousand people. Folks, do you realize the percentage of that? I did the math. It's below one percent. It is point zero zero eight percent. And now the crew actually has to wear a mask. The industry's agreement with its unions maintains that if eight or more people per 100,000 L.A. County residents are hospitalized for COVID, film and TV productions must return to mask wearing. So, OK, so let me correct this. It is only if eight people are hospitalized or more out of one hundred thousand people. That is insane. That is insane. By, by that case, man. We'll never get rid of mass. We never will. Eight people out of one hundred thousand people. L.A. County authorities reported that the hospitalization rate rose to eight point one percent this week. The film industry agree agreement was first uh, set in place in May and is set to expire on July 15th. So I'm willing to bet they're probably going to extend this thing. Maybe uh, quote, this industry has worked closely with their labor partners to institute COVID safety measures that create safety for all workers while being able to continue the important work. Ferrer said in praise of the industry. We do applaud them along with many other businesses that are taking advantage of the many tools that are available to keep workers safe. Film and TV productions were told this week that the remasking policy will take effect immediately. Hollywood had already moved to mandate vaccines and booster shots in agreement with unions in February. All employees on film and TV industry were told that they must take the jab as an as a condition for employment. So all of these people that are going to be wearing the mask still all have gotten the jab and the boosters. And now they're forced to wear it again because of the virus. The virus is never going away. It's never going away. Get used to it, guys. 
This is utterly ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous, guys. But this is Hollywood. This is the film industry. They have their unions. Thank God I live in Texas. Thank God I live in Texas. I was actually watching the um, interview with Gina Carano also. And Daily Wire, they didn't go through um, the unions to make this uh, movie. Uh, something like that because they were acquiring uh, jabs and all that. They didn't want to go that route. So I highly, I highly suggest that you guys go out and support alternatives to Hollywood, you know, like Daily Wire, have membership. Uh, great stuff over there, and they're going to be expanding. They are. But people in California, man, this is sad. This is really, really sad. Eight out of 100,000 people, if they get hospitalized, then you have to wear masks. This is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thank you.